Hi, everybody. It's Marianne Bailey with Hip Connections Hub, the Hip Senior and Online Tech Lessons. And today I wanted to show you how you can get LinkedIn Learning from your public library absolutely for free. Now you're thinking LinkedIn, public library, what do the two have to do with each other? Let me show you. So I am on my Washington Centerville Public Library website. I'm guessing that most of the libraries throughout the country probably have the same format and access to the same resources as well as that mine does. So I'm guessing if you have a library card and you don't know what their website is, Google it, or you can call and ask them and they'll be happy to walk you through. If you go to the library, they'll even show you some things about their website that you might find useful. But I'm going to show you today how you can have LinkedIn Learning, which is normally a premium feature of LinkedIn. It usually costs a lot of money, right? Well, I found it today on the Washington Centerville Public Library under research. So here I am on their main page and I click research. Now, the cool thing about LinkedIn Learning is that it's not just for professionals. There's all kinds of things in there. If you want to learn about AI, you can do that. You can learn about computer stuff. You can learn about networking and marketing, but you can also learn about sewing and gardening and all kinds of different resources. So try it out, see what you can find, see what you want to learn about. Let me show you how. So we're going to click on research on here at the top green button now. And it is going to bring us to the next page. Oh, research and then online resources and it'll bring you to this page at least on mine does yours may be a little bit different just kind of poke around you'll find it and then under senior lifestyles now of course because of the industry that i'm in involved with a lot of seniors a lot of learning a lot of businesses that deal with seniors i was curious so i was like okay senior lifestyles and i clicked on it and I start scrolling down. You've got ancestry in here, things about food, maps, all kinds of stuff, right? Well, when I got down here a little bit, I got to LinkedIn Learning for Libraries and I went, wait, what? Over 6,600 courses. Okay. But now I have dealt with LinkedIn Learning when I worked for Google and stuff like that. We had access to these sites because they wanted us continuously learning. And also because our courses that we had to do to stay up to date on different things often were loaded into LinkedIn Learning as well. And a lot of that was market star stuff. So I clicked on it and I said, okay. So LinkedIn Learning and takes you to this page. And then you just click here on the, let me get this bar out of the way, on the get started. I'm not gonna click on that because the next page automatically saved my library card number and I'm not giving that away to you. Be careful with that as well. But I went through the steps, you put in your library card and you put in your PIN number. Now, if you don't know that on your website, there may be a place where you can say, I forgot my library. I can actually call and verify who I am and get that information as well. So you might be able to do that. And then it brought me to the LinkedIn learning page. You can see I have a, a course loaded right now, but what brought me to was basically an overall page. So what I did was it said, what kind of things do you want to learn about? And I chose things like, you know, AI and marketing and, and, and different business stuff like that. But I also went in here and I searched for sewing just to show you guys because I do not sew but there's kind of there's video classes there was information about sewing tools sewing curtains sewing our cloth together duvets I mean all kinds of stuff right it's going to walk you through different things okay and you just go through and these are all free and what you do is you literally you just click on one so let's find one of these top ones uh we'll go in here into sewing tools 
And then that is a course and you can preview it here by just kind of letting it play, right? You have to unmute it. There are very few options which we're going to see quick. And if you don't like that, you just close it and you move on to ones that you might like. You can do things anywhere from gardening. I just saw one that said garage bands. But, okay, these look like they're business gardening type stuff, but you never know, right? You can take a course maybe on music history. Why are the, why use musical themes, um, organ history, traditional drum machines history. So that it, it kind of teaches you all kinds of stuff. For a free resource, LinkedIn Learning is actually really cool and it walks you through, it saves where you're at. And say you just wanna go in here and find some, you can just click on save over here on the right-hand side. You can say, oh, that looks interesting. I'm gonna come back to that later. Just click save. And then as you come along, you'll come over here and you'll click on, when you log in, you'll click on home and it'll, there'll, I haven't saved any, but it'll show you like, these are ones you've saved. You can click on my career journey or my learning, I think, and it'll show you the ones that you've saved. Well, apparently it is going back in time from when I had it. So yeah, but that's where you'll find the things will be under my learning when you save them. So give it a try, type in, you know, things that you're interested in learning and check it out. You can Ancestry. The other really cool thing about this library catalog is that there are things in here if you need legal forms, uh, if you want to read the New York Times, different, uh, I saw in here, I live in Dayton, I saw the Dayton Daily News was loaded in here for me. There are, you know, audiobooks and large print stuff. You can find Ancestry Library Edition, all different kinds of stuff. So poke around, play around with it, check it out. And um, let me know what you think down there in the comments. Please follow. Have a great day. Bye.